So the timeline of today's video might not make a whole lot of sense or you might not even notice it, but uh, since we were filming Wes's train horn install over the course of four days, I had a lot of footage over those four days that uh, that video would have ended up being like 45 minutes long if we put it all in there. So today's video is going to be a compilation of a couple of those things that I wanted to show you. And before we jump into that video, I just wanted to let you guys know the first batch of Workford hitch covers have already stripped and are delivered, but we have opened up a second batch of pre-order. So if you guys did not get in on the first batch and you want one of the new Workford hitch covers, there'll be a link down in the description as well as one right here. Make sure you guys do not miss out they sell out quick and before we start rolling to that footage if you guys wouldn't mind just click the little subscribe button down below make sure you have notifications turned on so you do not miss out on any future videos hey dude that's hard bro hey that thing's hard uh. not as hard as that shirt you're wearing hey you see. what's up and good morning guys welcome back to another video stanson rich 69 can you just change your instagram name it All just right, flows somewhere. You know what, what is 64 for anyway? 54? It 54. Was, it was for my football number, so it was like my lucky number. But, you know what? I might make the stance in Rich 69 just flows so much better, dude. <laughs> right. Rich, you showed up at a great time, buddy. We got a whole truckload of stuff we got to unload, and I got something for you to play on, man. Again? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're going to keep you entertained today. Dude, I've been dreaming of this since I was like, right? So, uh, yeah, clearly we got a big U-line order here. I do need to get a forklift. I think it's time we finally sack up and get one for these big freight deliveries. That we, I mean, not big freight deliveries, but it would be nice to not have to keep breaking down stuff. So, Rich, you strong enough to carry this, buddy? Yeah, I got you. Guys. All right, that's working for it. No tears, Rich, no tears. Now, we do have the Crew Cab OBS here overloaded today. We got, uh, it's our good buddy Chris's, well, our good buddy Chris's birthday was yesterday, but uh, my family made him up this little, little gift basket here. And then we've got a bunch of hand-me-down toys for my nephew that are gonna be going to Sergio for his kid. Something I'm excited that we got is uh, old hustler Wes showed up yesterday with uh, three brand new Milwaukee blowers uh, in the box that apparently he got a really good deal on. So uh, he was reselling them. I picked one up. Tony, one of the good things about our circle, man, is everybody has a little side hustle or some type of hustle to make money. A legal hustle, we should say. It's very important, you know, if you guys are out there working for another company or you're an employee of somebody else, like having a way to make money on the side on top of what you do, like that just immensely helps. Even if it takes care of one bill, like one bill less that you would have to worry about because you make a little side money, like, good but again make sure it's legal right rich do it legal so while we wait for everybody to show up i'm gonna give the old uh, obs here a nice little bat you know I, I was wondering why like rich always hangs around with west but I, I see dude you are very useful to have around buddy <laughs> great help great help are you excited buddy yeah i'm stuck dude hey you ready oh i'm ready this is an interesting over the hand technique exactly. there do you see how satisfying that is I, don't, I still don't understand the over the hand technique but all right <laughs> Go like that, you know, I you mean, can, most people do. Yeah, any way you want, really. All right. It's kind of like a any way you want. Thing. I'm here to learn from you, dude. Yeah. I like to get foam everywhere, you know? We still need some foam there. So, the main reason I picked up the new blower from the deal man himself right there, he, it's, it's lunchtime for him. It's actually uh, probably breakfast. I think he just woke up. How you doing, buddy? Did you just wake up? Yeah, from my nap. <laughs> Get down, Trying some, more, some more Wendy's. One of the things we do here, obviously we wash a lot of vehicles, which we're doing right now. And I've always had the mini Milwaukee blower, which this thing's great for job sites, blowing off sawdust, all that stuff. This thing is absolutely amazing. But one of the things uh, it's not that great for is blow drying a vehicle. Now, obviously using deionized water here, you don't have to dry your vehicle. You'll dry without water spots, but sometimes you get impatient and you, oh jeez, almost take crap on a rag. Don't throw your rags on the ground. Uh, sometimes you get impatient and like if you want to do detail spray or, or you want to be able to dry your wheels or whatever, wax your truck, you want it has to be dry for that. So I wanted to try out the new Milwaukee blower, see how well it'll actually dry the truck. Let's see. We'll put it on. Oh, it's on rabbit. slow process but this thing definitely blows way more air obviously I mean size wise blows way more air than the uh, than the small one did so we got a little uh, special guest special treat we weren't expecting uh, eco fresh 619 showing up today this truck um, it's been on the channel once before at one of our Fiesta Island meets but I don't think we ever really got a full walk around of it from the owner himself he actually just showed up today to Sergio shop because he wants to talk about getting some lighting Freddie, Freddie give us Freddie a walk fresh. around of this thing dude this thing's got a, a lot of little details a on lot it. of details so, so far, I just got my truck after three months being in the shop. I ended up going with a two 16-inch right. pour-through, custom Vox, 
with three extra batteries in the rear. Uh, two T2500. Had to do the cancer logo, of course. Go, go for kids for cancer. There you go. You know, that's what represent my daughter, Team Zoe. So that's the reason all the little gold accents is all the gold stuff I did for my for my daughter. Nice. And we have our own foundation now that we started. What's your What's your foundation? It's uh, a Team Zoe. Oh, right. prayers for Zoe Figueroa, and then you'll be able to see it there Where on YouTube and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I did all my custom doors. There's something done though. Yeah, we have to do. We still have to the do grill. the grill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of the because of the whole COVID thing, a yeah. lot of places have been closed. So we had to sit around and wait for a long a lot of things to come in. Right. So hopefully we get a lot of more parts in this week. Like my new my new dash is coming in this week. It should get it by Thursday or Friday. I ended up doing all my switches here. Custom made uh, switches there. Nice. I like it. Still retains kind of factory look, but yeah. gives you everything you need. Exactly. Look at what look at what it says for my rear light. So people when they're flashing. There you, there go. you go. Right. <laughs> I like the uh, little custom gold ribbon there. Yes. Oh, oh, and we're doing some YouTubing. We're doing, look go. at that, look at there that. You go. How do you like the cat skin seats? I have zero experience with them, obviously. Uh, oh, I, I like them, dude. I have two dogs, four kids, and they beat the heck out of them, and nothing happens to my seats. I just wipe them down. Shoot, we need to sell the truck and get a van. That's, I, my wife has a van. <laughs> okay, there you go. She has a Sienna. <laughs> gotcha. So oh, all nice. this is all custom made right here. It's all your apps. There's there's two amps here and then the other two in the rear. Oh, look at that, we're rocking some speed pulls too. Oh yeah. Or were until you put the cover on or yeah. you roll yeah, the cover up. Actually what I did, I think that is weird. I so I put the speed pulls here. So cause I have, I wanted to keep this on there because of my box, I don't want people a lot of people to see it. Right. So what I did was I drilled enough for the speed pull to go through here. Yeah, that's it. It's something that I just drilled it and shit. So I'll have this up, then I have my, my speed poles up there and stuff like that. That's a trick little setup. Yeah, Keep it clean. Happen. For everybody asking if speed poles work with the cover, there's always a way. I know with Flog, oh, right. we actually drilled holes in the front of Flog's uh, backflip cover to be able to uh, run the poles in there. Once it's down, obviously you slide the pole in and uh, lock it in place. Back there. <laughs> oh, jeez, so dude. <laughs> this is some lag. Snuffleupagus Willy Wonka craziness <laughs> going on here. That's insane, bro. Always oh, so nervous about cutting a giant hole in a brand new cab like that. I'm the same way, but I used to have two T1 shallows in the, in the bottom with the custom made thing. But I was like, I need more base. I need right. more base. So I'm like, you know what? Uh, Robert from Ellen Ed's, he's the owner. He hooked it up. He told me, uh, let's do a pour through. I've never done a pour through before in one of these trucks. I've done it in the past. And he did it to the point that he didn't have to cut a big old, like the old school ones, like the band passes. Right. So he just did just like uh, 12 inch rounds, one on each side. Dynamat the shit out of it so it won't rattle. Well, I like all the little accents you've uh, you've done around here. I mean, obviously keeping with the gold theme. Yeah. I think it's kind of a cool color up against the Ford. What color is this from Ford? Do you remember? It's, um. I think we talked about this a lot in the yes, video because we were yes. like not sure if that was a factory color or not yes. at the time. Yes, it, it's, a, it's a custom color through Ford that I pre-ordered because I pre-ordered my truck. Right. It's the Platinum and they always come with the roll, with the bench seats. I mean, the the separate sheet, the the seats. Right. But I had to I had to get a bench seat. Well, yeah, pretty you, much. Have, you have I'm forty like, people in your family. Yeah, yeah. I like these too. So. I like the little bushwhacker. I didn't even know they made these things to yeah. kind of protect your sill there. Exactly. Protect the bottom of the cab. What I like is that manufacturers, you know, I think uh, like WeatherTech was one of the first to laser measure everything. So yeah. it's not like the old days were crap. You have to make fit, and it's it's just universal amount. Everything's vehicle specific. So I mean. It, fits really nice on the truck. So what are we running for a uh, lift kit here? Icon? Uh, we're doing, we got a, we got Icon, Fox, I, a couple of little things that I put together just because the lift that I wanted, I wanted a true nine inch lift, all suspension, no body at all. Right. Just, I just don't like the way the body feels when you're driving it. Yeah. So I did all suspension. I, I had to custom make those uh, Fox reservoirs. I had to contact Fox. Took me about four months to get because they're like so backed up. So the bumpers, I end up going with the road armor just because I have a winch. And I, I go to the desert a lot, and I'm always getting stuck with the trailer when I go to Pismo Beach. So I had to get a winch on there. I ended up going with a black powder coat, just because I wanted to have, give it a little bit of black accents everywhere. I didn't want to go just too much the same color. Right. It would have been just... Too you start looking like that truck over there. Exactly. <laughs> just a little hint of blue. I love you, Brian. Your truck looks great, buddy. I'm running the AFE Power uh, intercooler, the white pipe, four inch piping, I uh, have two, uh, running two turbos, 67 millimeters each one, dual uh, blow-up valve for each side. Uh, I'm running a 50 shot of methanol. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and then uh, running all rigid lights, 
Just because I'm a big rigid fan. So we were just talking about your love for amber lighting, which we, yes. we share that love. Yeah, and, uh, have the amber lighting. So obviously you're here because you're going to be putting, what, amber strobes or something? Amber strobes, amber white. We're going to do amber whites. We're thinking about putting uh, right up here next to my... Uh, well, you've already got, yeah, you already got lights back there yeah, now. Those my, yeah, those are my Raptor lights. Gotcha. That I got in there. Well, can and, we turn uh, the lights on? Let me, let me see what it looks like with the lights on. I love these Ford headlights. They're so nice. Just So you did the, these are rigids? Yes, these are rigids. So they're the ones with the backlight series. Correct. These so, are radiance. Gotcha. So I like how rigid did this because you can backlight them with a color and then you still have your full brightness of correct. the white LED for off-road lights. If you need to do that, correct. Yeah. Then I also have these also. California, always have to have a cover, anything above your mirror. So I had to kind of put a cover on it. But when you take What about that off, one? I ordered them, but they're not here yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it in a way. But these also light up, as you can see. Oh yeah, I see the amber yeah. in there the amber on it so it's just a nice soft glow that they do right just having these covers on they kind of look like the fj cruisers you know how like the fj cruisers have the lights here right so that's like i actually there. like the look of having the lights there so, i mean a lot of trucks can't really pull it off but something about like the size of your truck it, it looks really cool then i got the uh, morty motos I, I i got them all black glossy black just because that's the way I'm no they look sick i love these black, headlights so. it looks good man you did a great job with the truck it's one of the things i always try to preach to everybody like those little details this truck stands out against every other f-150 because there's so many little details the color accents i mean it's your track bars in the back just yeah, enough gold, of the color i mean you know the front right there yeah the gold, so you don't want to go too crazy with the color but no, just, just little enough. hints just enough to make it make it pop when you're driving and, and get the eye People exactly like, oh, man that looks good now we got to get sergio to pimp it out that's it make everything flash and we're oh, good to go i got uh, i'm running uh 24 led lights on the bottom uh, all Bluetooth. Gotcha. Through Rigid. All, all of them. Damn, you spent some money on Rigid's there, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rigid's aren't cheap. I love these taillights, too. These are... Uh, Morty Motos. Morty Motos? Yeah. yeah. Morty Motos also. I love it. Gives that yeah. little infinity mirror look. Ah, that box is huge, dude. That's insane. Cool. I mean, I like how well they trimmed everything up. They, they could have just slammed some box sides on there, but the little beauty panel they made right there to yes. fit the bed sides. Of course, we gotta go with the Gen Y. Right, right. You gotta go with it. Well, now it just needs a you. work for it hitch cover. I know. In I, gold and black or gold I, and that color. So one of the things to take note on on this truck is this is a nine inch lift, which if you compare it to, what are you running? You're 12, right? Yeah, the 12. So a nine inch lift on an F-150, we were just talking. The crazy thing is on like the Super Duty trucks, you put like a two inch lift on those things. They look giant because they sit really tall. But a nine inch lift on this one kind of looks like a six inch, right? Like, yeah, exactly. It looks like about a seven, about a seven inch. Yeah. But what I like though is you, you put big old wheels and tires. I mean, the, the 37s on here fit real nicely. So it has like that, that bulky stance to it. It doesn't look like it's up on stilts or anything weird. I have a 30 foot trailer, so I gotta make sure. You pull a 30 foot with this thing? Oh yeah, I put a 30 foot. Dang. Weekend Warrior, dude. <laughs> Ooh, and that's not a light trailer. I used to pull my 25 foot Weekend Warrior with my 6.0 gas motor and uh, did not enjoy going up the grade on 37s. This thing does, did you, you were geared, right? You gotta it's be re-geared. Re I'm running 410, uh, it's re-geared. Uh, well, don't forget, I got, got methanol bigger turbos i'm running uh, about 747 horsepower 938 torque to a 2.7 v6 motor so you're gonna race west maybe brian got uh his powder coating done on the work for it. he's doing the other side it's actually getting color matched paint matched to the truck so his is getting painted and powder coated yeah i'm, I'm excited. getting that with the step uh color match so there you go and the other thing brian went and did if you guys remember the uh, little cognito face plates here he went and had those paint matched so obviously the shadow and the lighting is really weird but i can show you that is uh, the, what color is this? Uh, diamond white. Diamond white? Well, I guess, yeah, Diamond Z71. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, I had those color match as well. It looks killer, man. I, I like just enough little white accents, especially what's going to be going on on your uh, track bars there. Yeah, I think it'll flow well. We got a rare treat, guys. We got a, this is why sometimes DIY is okay, sometimes it's not, and this is why the professionals charge a lot of money. Uh, Brian tried to pull his taillights apart here, and well, yeah, uh, kind of, yeah, there's really no lens on there anymore. Uh, what happened, buddy? You know, it's a lot tougher than it actually looks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it looks pretty tough to pull these things apart, but yeah, he ended up shattering the lens on his uh, his tail lights there. So, uh, yeah. but hey, the painted strip looks great, buddy. Yeah, thanks. Did you paint that after? Yeah. You shattered the lens and you still had it painted? Yeah, I was like, because I wanted to see what it looked like. Because that's actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to paint that and do the color match outline. Right. To match my third brake light. Yeah, all right. Didn't really come out. Well, he's getting new ones, so. Hey, Queasy.
Well, obviously those videos didn't have an ending, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out WorkForTheParrel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.